Hello everyone, my name is Fajar Purnama and on this video I would like to make a tutorial for those of you who want to try this Statera ecosystem. Before I start, I'll make a brief introduction that uh, Statera is a deflationary Ethereum smart contract token and also deflationary mixed with a decentralized finance. So briefly, very briefly, the most interesting for that for me is the balance is a balancer with uniquely mixed with deflation so it will generate an infinite loop that whenever the price change will cause a balancing and that balancing will cause a deflation because of the transaction a 1% transaction burn and when a deflation occurs the price tends to increase for the pressure up and thus it may balancing will occur again and deflation will occur infinitely in concept and it makes you imagine imagination go wild of how much the price can increase due to frequent invasion you can read the rest here where i will put the link to this article on the description below but for now i want to make a to uh, guidance for any one of you who want to participate in buying their data token and their phoenix fund so first go to their website etc.token.com and scroll to the bottom the first thing you need is the delta token and to get one is to provide the liquidity in uniswap so you need to wait for a while because keep on refreshing so i will pause the video until it until it goes okay so it took a while for my uh, for my wallet to connect but before i continue if you do you're not familiar with uniswap decentralized exchanges etc i suggest you go to my previous video about using metamask and uh, decentralized exchange which one of them is uniswap here i'm using brave with uh, crypto wallets connected to uniswap so as you can see you need a ref if and satera if you don't have a ref if and of course if you are already familiar with decentralized exchange ethereum base you always need ethereum for the transaction fee then copy and then make a new tab and then go and then open uniswap and then uh, swap and then you need to buy some ref if and then buy yeah it depends on how much you want and once you have ref if you need a Statera. if you didn't have a Statera token you, and if you cannot find it on uniswap go to their website and go to the top of the website and then click the trade one and this is their address for the token which you need to, to paste i understand and here if you don't have any Statera, you can buy Statera here once you have a ref if and statera you can provide liquidity for example how much do i want to provide let's provide 0.01 ref if supply approve the ref if confirm guess this will take okay it's already oh it's approving take a while so i'll post the video again okay finally the confirm so then click supply and here you will supply ref if and satara liquidity and then you will get a delta token so well the fees okay since it's the boom of this centralized finance the fee gets higher i hope they will fix this in the future okay so let me pause and check okay it is pending so i have to wait okay finally it's confirmed so what's next did i get a delta token view transaction okay it's a success let me pause okay finally get it so i have a position here cetera ref if 0.3.258 so if you want to see the token go to etherscan.io and copy your wallet address for example here my wallet address here let me just try 
copy and then search and then here you will find your address and then the amount of token that you hold here it is this is the delta token called uniswap v2 now you can add it to your con uh, contract manually so copy and then here add the token custom token address and next there it is and here it is your delta token now what about providing liquidity for let's see the white paper where it is here it is so you can get the delta token pool you can provide a liquidity for delta token and ethereum let me try so select a token paste an address here it is so let's add liquidity again so one is ref if then is and here for example 0 0.005 you can provide a unit between ref if liquidity no i don't think so no no yes it is and then you can get yourself what is it uh, delta token pool so that's how it is i'm not going to do it now but for now i'm going to move to the next one in satara phoenix one so go back to the website and then provide liquidity for the phoenix one and will be on a balancer pool Fortunately, uh, the fee is high. Oh well, I'll uh, just to make this video. I'll, I'll pay. So connect your wallet. This is the balancer, and this is the token and the weight. And then what you need to do is to add liquidity, and then you need to create a proxy, and the price is expensive but oh well this is once is trying for once yeah, once in a lifetime no, not once in a lifetime then wait so I not recommend it for you who are in low funds so this index fund and dollar token for those of you who have a large amount of fund and want to invest for those who have like uh, at least ten thousand dollars one hundred thousand even million dollars it is recommended to use this phoenix fund if not the initial price is too expensive for me okay continue and then add liquidity and then i need to unlock all maybe just one is enough damn it's expensive one dollar to unlock each well i like the decentralized finance thing where no intermediaries and anyone can participate and without permission but they need to do something about this fee maybe in the future if I finally get rich then I can go back here and then put my funds into the index fund there you go okay waiting for this tree to complete so let's pause the video again okay so there you go now this pool have uh five assets the delta ref if ref btc link and synthetics if you want to buy link if you want to use the old pool assets then you need to have link and synthetics where you need to buy or if you don't want to you can just choose single assets and choose only one of them and choose either one maybe for example this one then at look deeper but 
I don't know. I'm not so sure about the technical, but this one is much safer if you want to do a large amount of fun. So I'm going to do this one. So too many ref if okay. So here it is. The maximum I can do. Do not add in deflation tokens or tokens with tensor V. No pull returns. Okay, and so on. Fail to okay. Add liquidity. So it's recommended to use a high gas price or lower amounts to to transaction failure. Oh my god, thirty three dollars. But anyway, I'm not going to do this. That is how you do it. So once I got a lot of cash, a lot of fun, then I will do it. But the man to try is too expensive. So next time. So anyway, thank you for watching.